why is that system design is so critical? Like, you know, make or break uh, part of the interview mm. process for SDEs. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, so every domain or the core areas in an interview has a purpose and some matrix to evaluate a candidate, right? So system design is quintessential for the senior roles. The outcome of this round often decides the level of your offer, whether you will be SG2, SG3, principal. So you can imagine its importance. So in the real world, um, in SD3 or above, be it lead, be it principal, be it staff, the names differ company-wise. But if you put it like a cadence of SD1, SD2, SD3, in the real world and SD3 and above, they are not expected to just implement a REST API. Let's take a simple example. That's something our SD1 can do, SD2 can do, even nowadays, AI coding tools can do even faster, right? But designing that API for scale, mm -hmm. considering the rate limiting, considering the security requirements, maintainable code is what is expected from the senior levels. And this all will come from the system design concepts, right? It's a simple example. But in practice, senior engineers are, fang, are often tested on large scale system designs, making the trade-offs, handling the complexity of your design, building the flows, maybe they can solve scale of millions or billions of users. For example, we daily load our Instagram Explore page. Can we load that page in milliseconds? How can we do that? That kind of real world scenario. These all will be solved mm -hmm. only with, on the basis of your system design concepts using obviously DSA and all as a tool. So this one really evaluates if a candidate can architect reliable, scalable systems, not just write the correct code. Here mm -hmm. candidate can demonstrate like the deep technical understanding, structured thinking, also the practical experience. So in my opinion, this is the reason why, like considering all this, this round is always a make and break part of the process. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, because I've been uh, talking to so many um, engineers and uh, there are times like only because of the system design round, they've missed an offer, okay? Yep. They couldn't crack sure. an interview and they've really lost opportunities. And these are just new graduates, okay? How could you expect, uh, you know, someone who's uh, totally fresher, to know much about um, system design, but then they need to know at least a bit of a concept so that they're able to explain well in an interview. So that definitely ha uh, you know, affects the interview process. Yeah. Yes, I think to double on that point, uh, the level uh, or the we can say the depth of knowledge will vary on the level yeah. on which you're targeting, but you cannot behave like I, the word is alien to you. As a, mm -hmm. in the moment you add a title software engineer to your uh, like a CV, you should be aware what is a system design because at the end you're designing systems. Right. DSA, data structures, algorithm, they're just a tool which helps you implement. But at the end you're designing a system. A system is what an end customer uses. To what depth is expected? Obviously it depends on which level you're coming. A college grad obviously yeah. has a different level of experience and a staff role will have a different level of expectations at the interview. Yeah. So yes, the level will differ, but it's a quintessential part. Even if you're fresher, you cannot skip that. Okay, I don't know system design. I'm yeah. very good at coding. And I, I, I doubt that still there will be a company which will still be hiring them. There will be some or the other way to evaluate some basic concepts of system design, which you should be aware of. Yes, yes, yes. That's very true. So system design has become a part and parcel for every levels. Now, since we're talking about levels, and the depth. So could you, you know, go more detail on how does the depth of system design really differ, you know, across levels, be it for an SD1 or SD2 or SD3 and beyond? Could you explain in, you know, deep dive on this one? Yeah. Yeah, I think you added a good word deep dive because this will take <laughs> like, It's very hard to uh, mm -hmm. like uh, formulate the whole thing into one thing, but yeah, I'll just give it a try. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like one of the biggest mistakes candidates make in system design is either overdoing or underdoing it. And the root cause is lack of clarity about the depth of knowledge expected for this specific role and the private company. Yes, system design expectations, as we said, do increase with seniority. For junior, it's mostly about basic architecture and simple scalability. If you move to HD2 to an HD3 interviewers, interviewers generally look for deeper trade-offs, performance, reliability considerations, as well as how much is your structured thinking and justification of the design choices is very important. Why are you choosing A versus B? At principal staff levels, it starts, can you think about long-term scalability? What is the cross-team impact and strategic decision making? So maybe let's say, let me take an example. Um, what is a top question? Let's a question like design a URL shortening service. It's a very top question. Everybody must have read it here and there in uh, all online resources. So let's say if I'm taking this interview for SD1, 
what will I expect? The candidate is expected to maybe outline the basic components, API endpoints, basic database schema, some simple CRUD operations, handling very basic scaling considerations or edge cases. This is good enough. If he's covering or if he or she is covering 80% yeah. of this is also good enough. But the moment it comes to an SD2 candidate, the focus shifts to scalability, reliability. Is he or she thinking about caching strategies, database sharding, mm -hmm. replication, rate limiting, and some high-level trade-offs? Now, imagine there's a candidate for SD3 role. Now, I will expect a deep dive into both HLD and LD. Can he dissect mm -hmm. his components, optimizing for, let's say, high traffic, designing the queues? There will be some ambiguities which I have left in the question. Can he cater to that? Analytics, data consistency, fault tolerance. They also evaluate like structured reasoning, trade-offs, availability to justify disease, which I said is a very important part for a senior role. Let's say you go to the principal role. Here, it will, the discussion is endless. It can move to like system evolution, long-term scalability, capacity planning for the future, take debt management, cross-team coordination. But the emphasis will be on strategic thinking and influencing large systems. So if you see for a single question, the level and the depth I just tried to uh, cover, like it's a different on what we are coming for, mm -hmm. but the question remains the same. Design a URL shortening. So if you are just preparing a design a URL shortening from an online resource and it caters only the SD one, you are not ready for the SD three rule, and that's where you need to understand. As I said, you overdo or underdo. You say I have completed a topic, but maybe you are underdoing it, or maybe you are going for SD one and you have read a a good uh, a good um the page with this question for the SD three level. Then you are overdoing it and you are unnecessarily killing your time. So you need to know. Because different fans have slightly different expectations also. Like if I may take the name, Google and Facebook, they emphasize at times on scale and efficiency. And this I'm telling from my personal experience of interviewing mm -hmm. there or being uh, listening to the interview uh, experience of my friends. Amazon looks for trade-off and ownership. Sometimes at Microsoft, it leans on the practical implementation. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are your views? So this kind of insights is also helpful if you're targeting one of these companies. But the takeaway, uh, I would say the key takeaway for the candidate is to Tailor your depth of preparation to the role that you're targeting. Understand what level of detail and which aspects of system design is expected for your target role. And this will help you prepare efficiently. So I think, yeah, I mean, just with an example I tried to give, no one can cover it uh, completely because it's a huge thing if you mm -hmm. go into system design depth, multiple mm -hmm. topics. But yeah, I, as I said, it will always depend at which role you're targeting and how you want to prepare for that particular concept. For the same concept, you can do PhD as well, right? <laughs> But we don't need it. <laughs> yes, yes. That's true, that's true. But then I think you have really gone in detail about this system design part of it for different levels. So I think we're good.